There are dozens of seats up for grabs on this year's ballot here in Aiken County. Hundreds have already made their voices heard by submitting absentee ballots. Officials say many will come out to continue a tradition of casting votes on Election Day. After more than a year of campaigning, the debates, and let's not forget the ads, Aiken County residents are heading to the polls. Well, I've always voted this one. I like to come out and do it personally. <laughs> well, I honestly thought it would just be easier to come out here today instead of just doing it online because, well, one, I don't have a phone. It broke. <laughs> and I just figured it'd be better to do it in person. We've checked into several polling locations scattered across the All-America City. Over at the H. Odell Weeks Activity Center, poll workers say they saw long lines when polls first opened. As time moved closer to noon, lines died down with voters being able to move through the process quickly. At Warrenville Baptist Church, officials say lines were all the way to the main road with voters waiting. More than 800 people cast ballots in total and they're expecting more. There are some aspects of voting that will look a little different from years past due to COVID-19, but something you may not have paid much attention to before will still be watching and waiting. We do have poll watchers, just like the Democratic Party, mm -hmm. uh, just to, to basically help out the polling locations if they need it. I don't expect to have any problems. And the Democrats don't foresee any problems either. I don't think anybody in this day and age, I don't think anybody wants to go into that kind of an environment and start some stuff. And if you're still planning to vote, officials say take a look at scvotes.gov. You'll be able to see a sample ballot. That way you can choose your selections more quickly. Polls close tonight at 7 o'clock. I'm Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Stock. WJBF News Channel 6.